Continuing coverage tonight, Woodland Park Middle School students will soon move into the high school. And tonight, some parents are concerned about the two age groups mingling. Cardio 13's Emily Coffey is live in Woodland Park after speaking with both parents and administrators about this change. Emily. Yeah, today I sat down with Superintendent Ken Witt to get some answers on why this merger is happening. He says that as enrollment has grown at Merritt Charter Academy School, the building that it shares with Woodland Park Middle School has become simply too small for both schools to work. When I got that email, it I was a little shocked because like you said, I have a seventh grader, so this will be affecting him. He will be moving into the high school building and he is um, he's a little nervous about it. I mean, and rightly so. Shannon Villaro has a child in seventh grade. One of her main concerns, protecting her child from high school students who are often dealing with more mature topics. We know that there is a lot more mature issues going on at the high school because that's what high school is. In a survey conducted last year, 88% of Woodland Park School District parents said they didn't like the idea of a merger. At this point, we can't accommodate all of the students for both, so we have to make a choice. And uh, the, the choice is easily made simply because of the, the student counts. Superintendent Ken Witt saying they simply don't have a choice. Witt says he's mindful of the two age groups commingling and him and the rest of his administration are working on a plan to completely minimize interactions between the two groups. They're not overlapping as much as possible uh, and they will have separate locations so that they're not actually intermingling except for the opportunities that we'll be able to uh, offer for some additional uh, extracurricular uh, opportunities and uh, elective course opportunities. Yeah, and how academics, libraries, and other extracurricular opportunities will work out remains to be determined. Administration promised that they would be in communication with parents in the coming weeks as more details are found out. Reporting live in Woodland Park, I'm Emily Coffey for KRDO 13.